All right, what I want you to do is go ahead and hit pause. We are talking about 11.9 reflections and write this down. So I'll take a few minutes to do that. All right, it's simply a reflection is a mirror image that is created when a figure is flipped over a line. Well, this is very similar to uh, literally you looking into the mirror. And if you've ever um, try to cut your hair in the mirror uh, it's very very difficult because you think that you're moving to the right the way your, way your brain is thinking um, because you're looking at that image and you think you have to move to the right and you actually need to move to the left um, so that is the mirror image and we'll talk a little bit more about that in class tomorrow with a couple different uh, figures that we're going to work with um, now we're going to look at this, and it looks kind of complex, but it's actually a pretty simple concept here, uh, dealing with reflection over the x-axis and reflection over the y-axis. And when we reflect, you are trying to, again, look at the amount of spaces that you have from each point to the axis that you're going to reflect over. So for example, this point, it is three away from that x-axis. When you look at the reflection of it, it is also three away, but when you're in it, but it's on the bottom of that particular uh, image. So when we were to count over, um, we we're going to count three, one, two, three to that point, and then if we're reflecting, it's one, two, three, staying on that same y coordinate staying on that same line but flipping that okay same thing for this one the, this point uh, is one away from the line it's one away on the bottom side this one's one away from the top this one's one away from the bottom and you would connect these three dots to create that triangle based on the original image same thing you're doing over here you're actually four away and then to reflect it, you'd have to count one, two, three, four to the left of that y-axis because this is what we're reflecting over. Okay? It says notice each how each point is the same distance from the axis it's reflecting. Okay? Um, same distance. This whole entire triangle is the same distance away as this triangle is from the y-axis, except this is on the right side this is on the left this one is on the top this one is on the bottom okay now reflecting over the x axis okay now if you notice on this side um, all both of the images are completely on that side of the axis it's trying to reflect okay it isn't always the case and that is why I'm showing you this example here um, that is not always the case we are going to take point A and this is point B and this is point C and we're going to reflect that according to their points on the x-axis well again this is my x-axis okay so these points have to be on the other side. Any of these points at the top have to be on the bottom. Now we already have this one on the bottom, which means it needs to go on the top. Okay, they have to reflect either way. So when we do that, yes, this triangle is actually going to overlap the original triangle. So let's look at point A. Point A is 1 2 away so we've got to go a negative 2 on the bottom side and put your point point B we are 1 2 3 away so we need to be 1 2 3 away from the bottom side and my point C is 1 2 so we need to be 2 away on the top side and now we can simply take our triangle and I'm gonna make it red and whoops create our line so from that point well that's not working very well now we have what we need to that 
point to that point to that point and you can see the triangle that we just reflected okay now most of us again think that the triangle should since it's reflecting uh, would look more um, like this because of this triangle however you must recall it is saying reflect over the x-axis so that's why these points have to be on the other side from where they originally are okay so that is a reflection over the x-axis for that particular triangle now something that you need to take note of is that when we are um, talking about these particular shapes we also have coordinates that we are dealing with so this coordinate is one two three four five and one two up so five and a positive two that is my first coordinate its reflected coordinate is going to be one two three four five it's still the same positive five but it is not a positive two it is going to be a one two negative two so let's look at the similarities and differences okay my fives my x coordinate okay remember it's x and then my y okay so my x it stays the same but my y it's opposite okay so when it says to reflect over the x-axis you're actually that means that the x is going to stay the same the numbers but the at y coordinates those are going to be the opposite of each other so you wouldn't even have to worry about these coordinates you could simply find the original coordinate and then do the opposite of the um, y coordinate to get the actual point okay and we're going to show you that on this next one but if you notice it says the y axis so find coordinates of the reflected image over the y axis well for a prime which is going to be the other point that we're going to create since we just said that the y, if, if you're going to flip the image uh, on an axis, then whatever axis you're flipping it on, that coordinate will stay the same, opposite of the other. So the y is going to stay the same, the x is going to change to the opposite. So my um, first one, the x coordinate, it's going to always be the opposite since we're flipping over the y. So it's negative 1. 1. B prime is going to be opposite of the second of the first number so that's going to be a 4 excuse me negative 4 I wrote it but didn't say it uh, negative 4 and then the 3 because the Y is going to stay the same because we're flipping it over that Y axis and then C prime that is going to be a negative 5 and then a negative 4 is going to stay the same okay and when we look at this compared to this again since we're flipping the x-axis that is why the 5 is going to stay the same okay the axis you're flipping that's the coordinate that's going to stay the same opposite of the second okay We'll talk more about this tomorrow. We'll graph this image as well. So uh, just have a great evening, and I uh, hope you learn this, and we'll talk further about it tomorrow. I've got some uh, different activities we'll work with on, on uh, the reflections. I think you'll find them interesting. Have a great night.